Holy sh**. Marauders Excavation Update is here. And uh, July 4th seems to be the date. There's a bunch of sh new weapons, a new map, a raid boss. Crazy stuff. Um, let's get into it. Alright, so for those of you who don't know Marauders, uh, extraction, looter, shooter, great game. Um, updates are amazing. They've got the new mining frigate. The loot there is supposed to be amazing. Uh, breach only location. I don't know. I'm kind of imagining it like a factory type like level. Factory from Escape from Tarkov. That's what I'm imagining. Um, it seems really cool. And then you can also go to the penal colony and apparently there's a new raid boss. So that seems pretty cool. The warden. Prisoners locked him up and uh, now he's escaped. And you get a chance to go kill him and get a cosmetic and probably some top tier loot. That apparently is not it though. I really was not expecting all of this, but there's a ton of other shit. Um, weapons, 15 plus weapon attachments. Apparently they want to make this game a little more hardcore, so they were kind of getting away from the movement shooter, like, you know, duck, uh, duck, stand, duck, stand, left, right, shoot type thing, and they want to make it more tactical. Who the hell knows what that means? Um, but that does include a new bleeding system uh, and a, new, a dart gun. I guess you can bleed from shotguns and a dart gun, and I'd imagine you have to use a bandage, so you have to take bandages and can't take like 15 cans of dog food just to heal with anymore. And then there's another point that says new healing location, quote unquote, hardcore. I don't know, man, maybe surgical, like, I don't know, we're getting towards Escape from Tarkov level here. Apparently now you'll be able to hear people healing. So that'll give you an opportunity to push when someone's healing. I mean, you could hear cans of food opening, I think. You'll be able to know while someone's healing so that you can push them um, and get a little bit more aggressive. Like I said before, 15 plus new attachments. I'm sure it's gonna be scopes, more extended magazines, maybe silencers, compensators, who knows, but it seems like we're gonna be getting a little bit more tactical in the weapons that we choose. Which apparently also include attachments spawning in the vault on weapons along with a vault buff so it's going to be way more worth i already liked going to a vault but it looks like it's going to be way more worth it going to a vault to get crazy loot outside of them and something that literally just blew my mind it seems like there's going to be actors puzzles hidden locations for those of you who don't know there's a library like harry potter narnia type book thing that's already in the game and it's pretty cool me and my friend uh, we're playing with it right here. But that's pretty much like the fun stuff that's going to be added. Um, there was going to be a solo queue. They kind of teased it before, but apparently it's not quite ready, so they're not going to be doing it. But you will be able to change, um, I believe, region, region so that maybe you can cut down on the loading times for your raid. There's also going to be a slot machine in the bar, I guess. That seems pretty cool. I guess you're going to be using silver coins for maybe the chance to get some gold coins. Or maybe you'll get copper ones, or maybe you'll get nothing at all, I don't know. One of the new weapons include an MAS-44. It's a 7.62 rifle, and uh, I believe it's going to spawn in the vault. I um, already like the STG, so another 7.62 weapon seems, uh, I think would be pretty cool. Honestly, I am like super impressed with the developing team and what they've done so far. It seems like they're, gonna, they're pushing out updates as much as they can, and they're like packing a lot of stuff in these updates. That is going to change slightly. Um, I know that the dev team has listened to the community and they're going to be pushing out smaller updates but more frequently, like every two weeks or something like that. And then I'd imagine that, you know, maybe a bigger update every month or couple of months. But honestly, that seems kind of cool to get the juices flowing for this game and keep it from getting a little bit stale during development. It's been really cool so far to see what they've added, the way that they listen to the community, and they've kept it pretty fun thus far. If you'd like to check out all the details for the excavation update, you can go to the link down below to the Steam profile where they show all of the points that some of them I went over and maybe and maybe even a couple things that I missed. Who knows? Once again, the update drops July 4th, so I will see you on Marauders. Remember, I'm on kick.com slash Yamahami and Monday, Wednesday, Fridays. Hit me with the follow. Let's get to the affiliate status and um, let's have a little bit of fun. You guys take it easy. See you there. Peace.